Moa. Extinct bird. 1. Extinct birds. Moa, order Dinornithiforms, any of several extinct ostrich-like flightless birds native to New Zealand and constituting the order Dinornithiforms. The number of different species is in dispute, estimates varying from 9 to 64. Among these species, individuals ranged in size from as big as a turkey to larger than an ostrich, some stood as tall as 3 meters, 10 feet, and weighed as much as 250 kilograms, about 550 pounds. The name moa came from a Polynesian word for fowl. According to Maori tradition, moa were swift runners that defended themselves by kicking when cornered. Early Polynesian peoples hunted moa for food and made spear points, hooks, and ornaments from their bones and water carriers from their eggs. Although the larger moa probably became extinct by the end of the 17th century, a few smaller species may have survived into the 19th. 2. Life. Moa were chiefly browsers and grazers. Inference from skeletal and other remains reveals that they ate seeds, fruits, leaves, and grasses, which were ground with the help of more than 3 kilograms pounds, of stones in the gizzard. Moa laid one large egg, up to 18 centimeters 7 inches, in diameter and 25 centimeters 10 inches long, in a hollow in the ground. Whether the moa, with the other ratites, birds with a flattened breastbone, shared a common ancestor or were polyphyletic, from several ancestral lines that come to resemble each other because they evolved in similar environments, is as debatable as their mode of arrival in New Zealand. Moa were thought to be related to Kiwis, whose origins can be traced to Australia, but several genetic studies have noted the close similarities between Moa and Tinamous, a group of partridge-like birds that evolved in South America, suggesting that common ancestors of Moa and Tinamous may have evolved there. 3. Mores. Moa also possessed other ratite features, such as feather type, palatal structure, and the persistence of skull sutures into adulthood. These features, considered by many to be juvenile characteristics, prompted some scientists, including British anatomist and paleontologist Richard Owen, to suggest that Moa and other ratites were overgrown chicks, examples of patamorphism, the retention of immature characteristics into adulthood. However, many modern ornithologists suggest that these features could be advantageous adaptations that have nothing to do with patamorphism. In addition, studies of unique growth rings and leg bones of moa have indicated that they grew at an exceptionally slow rate, taking as many as 10 years to reach full size. In contrast, modern birds are fully grown within 12 months. The lesser moa formed the family Amidae, with about two-thirds of the species in the order. The greater moa, in the family Dinornithidae, included the giants of the order. The fossil record for Moa is poor, the earliest remains are regarded as originating in the late Miocene age, 11.6 million to 5.3 million years ago. Search, Vitor Hugo Lizard Leonard. Hello friends, if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, strengthen our work, it's very important to expand the channel. I'll tell you, thank you.